bien, ya. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a fantasy drama film, Skellig. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Michael's family moves to a decrepit old house to make room for the coming baby that his parents are expecting. He soon feels pushed out by his parents, who are preoccupied with the house decoration and the new baby. Meanwhile, Michael gets mocked and treated as a coward by his classmates in school because he suffers from acrophobia and is too afraid to jump into the pool from a swimming platform. His friend stands up for him and drives the bully boys away. Some bay at home, Michael notices a lovely rat passing by the yard. Driven by his curiosity, he then follows the rat and ventures to a gloomy and uninhabitable shed near their new house. There he hears unexpected noise from someone that literally scares the shit out of him. In shock, he runs back to the house, attempting to tell his mom what happened in the shed, but he finds his mom suffering and going into premature labor. In panic, he calls the ambulance for her. The mother is rushed to the hospital, and the baby is born prematurely. Michael likes the new family member very much, but the baby must stay in hospital for some time due to its premature delivery. Back home, the father checks the shed after Michael says he hears someone in it, but nothing is found there. As a present for the newborn baby, Michael and his dad renovate a room together. The dad is very happy to see Michael is up to this task. On his second attempt to explore the shed, Michael meets a neighbor, Mina. The girl is friendly but a little weird, making Michael want to keep a distance from her. In the shed, he meets a shitty man who seems very sick. Michael is startled and runs back to his dad in the house, who's comforting Michael's crying mom on the phone. With no one to share with, Michael then tells his best friend about the man in the shed. But his friend is more interested in a swimming contest rather than his story and invites Michael to watch his contest. Inside the classroom, Michael finds his desk is full of disgusting bugs, which disturb the whole class and thus get his ass kicked out of the class. Under depression, he encounters Mina on the way home, but he doesn't want to talk much to her. Later, Michael goes to see the weird man in the shed. The man rejects his help, but tells him two numbers, 27 and 53. In confusion, Michael visits his mom and the baby in the hospital. And in the hallway, he meets an old lady, Grace. She starts a nice conversation with him about her children that haven't visited her for a while. When they finish the talk, Grace shares one of her grapes with Michael. Michael feels worried about his sick baby sister after seeing her lying lifeless in an incubator due to the premature delivery. At night, Michael orders course 27 and 53 on the takeout menu and take the leftovers to the weird man who enjoys the food very much. When he pats him, Michael sees some big lumps on the weird man's back and even a feather on a small table. Michael tells his encounter with the weird man to the old lady. Grace then informs Michael that he should keep helping that poor man and she shares another grape with Michael. Surprisingly, the baby finally gets well after that and comes home with the mother. The new room decorated by Michael and his dad fills mom's heart with joy and love. Even though Michael's nights are filled with cries of his annoying baby sister, but he still feels happy to be around the new family member. Meanwhile, the weird man is getting better with Michael's medicines, and he's willing to talk to Michael carefully, without revealing who he is. Sometime later, while playing with his best friends in the woods, Michael feels something bad happens at home. He then rushes home, only to find his sister get sick suddenly, and taken to the hospital again. With no way to release his worry and anger, Michael beats the bushes. Somehow, the shed is shaking too, as if the weird man makes it because he can feel Michael's depression. Later, Michael shares his worries with Mina, and she leads him to her secret place, an old tower by a lake. Michael feels released after a pleasant chat with Mina. However, due to a fatal heart problem, the newborn sister's condition gets worse. There's nothing he can do to help his little sister. So Michael finds the weird man again, hoping to get comfort from him. But the shitty man says people are so small to the universe, and death is just part of human life. Michael feels offended by his coldness and storms off in anger. That night, some mushrooms grow magically on the wall in Michael's room. The next day, Michael brings some beer and introduces Mina to the weird man. Mina is very curious about the man and thinks his body is growing stiff day after day. Later, they run out of the shed and exchange more thoughts about who the weird man is. Back home, the father is clearing up the mushrooms on the wall and going to clean the shed as well, to distract himself from worrying about the baby. Michael breaks the worn-out roof by jumping hardly on the bed upstairs, which successfully stops his dad from discovering the weird man living in the shed. The next day, Michael bumps into the old lady in the hospital again. Grace notices that the poor boy is full of worries, so she gives all her grapes to him and encourages him to stand up to difficulties bravely. 
the doctor informs the couple that there are no effective treatments for the baby's heart problem, which frustrates the whole family. Feeling helpless, the drunk father goes to burn down the gloomy shed in frustration. Failing to stop his dad from setting fire to it, Michael then carries the weird man out of the burning shed right away. Soon after, Michael takes his exhausted, drunk dad back home and asks Mina to help him hide the weird man in the tower by the lake. When Michael returns home, he's a bit shocked to see his dad is already awake and is pasting new wallpapers in the house. On the other hand, Michael and Mina prepare more supplies and food and take good care of the weird man. After the good cares, the weird man finally tells the kids that his name is Skellig and he is as old as Earth. Then he shows the two lumps that he has been hiding for long. They are actually broken wings with almost no feather left. To figure out what Skellig is, the two kids meet up frequently and exchange their findings. More classmates make fun of Michael for his sneaky meeting with Mina. Frustrated, Michael walks off and meets Mina that night at the tower to see Skellig. To their surprise, Skellig can even stand up now, thanks to foods brought by the animals. He holds Mina and Michael's hands and makes them slowly float up in the air and turn in circles. As a little return, Mina and Michael help cleanse his dirty feathers, but spare his shit-smelly hairs and clothes. Michael and Mina leave with such a wonderful experience and are surprised to realize that Michael's burnt hand caused by the fire is magically healed. The next day during the class, Michael is called to the hospital. Knowing his sister is about to have an important operation, Michael falls into fear and wants to seek help from Skellig. But Skellig just tells the poor boy there is nothing he can help, since he has already given up on himself and thinks of himself as a loser angel. Michael goes to see Mina after that. Mina's mom invites him to stay at their home to recover from his low spirits. Too occupied by his sick sister, Michael forgets to attend his best friend's swimming contest. Without the support from Michael, the friend ends up doing a horrible job in the contest. Back in the hospital, Michael goes to visit Grace when his baby sister is still under operation, but he finds out that Grace has died in her sleep the night before. Under Grace's inspiration, Michael wants to give faith to Skellig. On his way running to the tower, Michael encounters his best friend, who follows Michael and wants to investigate the tower, but soon the friend gets stopped by Michael. Michael couldn't explain to his best friend, so the friend storms off in anger. Later, he finds Skellig on the top of the tower, telling him that he believes Skellig is a good person and that he can help cure his sister. He knows he has to find a way to rekindle Skellig's belief and hope, so he walks to the edge of the tower and jumps off despite his acrophobia. With Michael's deep trust, Skellig jumps to rescue him. Skellig opens his wings suddenly and shoots up to the sky again. He grabs Michael and makes him asleep after flying in the sky for a bit. Soon after, Skellig leaves Michael in a safe place and goes to see Michael's sister in the hospital. After using his magic power to put the mom to sleep, Skellig holds the baby in his hands and floats in circles again in the ward. Thanks to his magic power, the baby recovers soon. Michael is awakened by Mina the next day, and he rushes to see his sister. He knows it's Skellig that helps his sister back into a healthy condition. Seeing smiles on his parents' faces, Michael suggests naming his sister, Grace, to memorize the old lady who inspires him. The mother and the baby sister finally come back to a newly decorated house where the family reunite happily again. Meanwhile, Michael meets his friend and explains the misunderstandings between them. The two friends then reconcile. Michael and Mina visit Skellig and treat him with his favorite wine and food. Skellig, the once shitty and fallen angel, decides to leave there and fly to other places where he can help more people rekindle their hope in life. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.